going on YouTube. So this is the um, keyboard I've been working on for my TRS-80 Model 4 and um, as you all know if or if you're familiar with the TRS series they have these really dumb poorly engineered buttons and they're the rubber dumb switches on the inside and the carbide or the carbon starts wearing off with the little touch pads and uh, it gets all cloudy and you know you get extremely high resistances and you know your buttons stop working so I had this machine and I tore it apart and I found that um, you know there was there was about six keys that didn't work so I figured you know what I might as well just take them all out clean them all because I was like I'll, I'll never forgive myself if I don't do them all right the first time so I pulled out all 70 keys these ones are good I still have to test those and uh, I already soldered these ones back on the board now the pain in the ass part is you actually have to take every solder joint off of these things and um, then they pop out through this metal grate so they, they pop in they slide in you have to get two you have to get pliers and pinch the edges and pull them straight out but I'll show you I also found this and the guy called himself a electronics electronics enthusiast as you can see this trace is kind of blown out I've kind of bodged it enough where it's probably gonna work and I've been soldering on all these connections for the past few hours so I'm gonna start putting them back in all the traces seem pretty pretty solid um, this push button, the reset button, was a huge pain to fix. I, I mean, I couldn't really find another one, so I had no option to take it apart, but it seems legit. But, um, all these keys, these are the most common keys that I've found that I use this whole row. I mean, that's kind of the design of the QWERTY keyboard. But, um, these are all tested out at about 50 to 60, 69, 70 ohms. These ones kind of in the ballpark of like 70 to 90 ohms, and then those are over 100, so I gotta work on that. But the optimal, from what I found, because there's not really much out there on these keys, but other people that have put them together, they um, they recommend going at about 60 ohms. So I'm gonna keep testing, put it together, and um, we will keep you updated with this, because this has it's been a couple hours, I'd probably say about five hours of work to get every little thing undone, and it's just been... It's been a long ride, but hopefully she'll she'll be put back together in a few. Yeah, you can see that the uh, the copper is worn off, and I've kind of had to make my own traces. But yeah, so we'll we'll keep going and see what happens. Stay tuned. 